Hi guys. Hello, Shannon. how are you doing? I'm Not Shannon. Brand. Shannon and Krista. Chris, yeah. How are you doing? Thank you guys are um, co-creators or workers of Catapult King. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, That's I'm, right. a, I'm a programmer, a decent artist. Yeah. And uh, Catapult King is one of our own uh, original titles that we uh, came up with over the last two years and we released about 12 months ago. So how did the idea come about, like, like for that sort of medieval type of theme? How well, we... there's kind of two angles. We, we're, we're Wicked Witch and we've always had a slightly medieval kind of theme attached to our logo and uh, attached to ourselves as a, as a company. And then we were looking at the popular of a little a little known game you may have heard of about some angry birds or something like that. Oh, and, we that. and we thought um, nobody's done a game like this in 3D and we thought we... Uh, we, we should be the first people to do that. So we just jumped in straight away, took about a year of development and, um, and released the game about 12 months ago. Well, aesthetically, it looks, looks fantastic. Like the fact that you can you see everything head on rather than on the side. That, that was the whole point. We would, we would see these, uh, these side uh, perspectives for games like that. Yeah. Uh, and we thought, what a, great, uh, what a great way to be immersed in, in that environment by doing it in 3D. And I think um, uh, our, our CEO, Daniel, who, who runs the company, he just sort of said, I just want to have that feeling where, that you, you pull a ball right back yeah. to your face. And, and that was just like, that is a great idea. Let's, let's move with that. Yeah. I think it, I think it also gives the player more control as well. Like, so it's, yeah. Rather than doing it on the side, that it's, it's almost a yeah. real life type of thing. I'm, 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 I'm actually pulling the actual string itself. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a bit more intuitive, you know, like from that angle, because yeah. you know, you're actually feeling it. That's how you would do it in yeah. real life, I yeah. think. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, and you're able to um, manipulate the catapult itself as well so that's, up and down. that's right you can a adjust the trajectory from from the height um, there's a cog on the side you can actually explore the world before you've even um, you fired your shot just in case there might be one of the little kind of cheeky soldiers hiding behind a building you can you can you can pan around on the device spin around go okay I've got three guys behind here right. going back to your um, catapult before you shoot and, uh, and 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 go for it as you mentioned earlier right so you actually created the whole thing from scratch so it wasn't based on anything or uh, no, look, it's a, it started off with ideas. We, we tried different, had different characters. We were con contemplating using um, like cheeky monkeys as the idea. We were going to be out in the jungle. We were going to try this, and we, we settled on that medieval theme, and um, and literally started the game from scratch. From, from on my side as an artist, it was blank pieces of paper, um, concept drawings, and and on the programming side, it, yeah. it was literally our, our own engine. Yeah, it's all like you know C plus plus. We don't use anything else. Yeah, it's just all scratch made, really. No, no third-party uh, engines used in the game. It's just all our own. So that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is a story based? Like, is there a story to keep it going? Or? I tell you what, we're pretty original on the story as well. Oh, oh. We had this great idea that a princess might get stolen by a dragon. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of something like that in a game before. I don't think I've ever. So uh, we've got. It's a very loose story. We, with the nature of the game, we we had we didn't really have the opportunity to put cinematics in there and story points. Or so we just have a little bit of a fly through at the start of the game where you see this. Uh, dainty little princess and she's a damsel in distress and the nasty dragon comes and whisks her away and uh, and your the purpose of the game is to um, cross the lands and defeat the cheeky soldiers to, to get back your woman. And you mentioned 24 million hits. That it's, is fantastic. Look, yeah. For, yeah, for a small company um, based in Melbourne to, to see a game that we put a lot of, a lot of love into right. from the moment it was uh, released it just just to see it slowly just climb the charts, um, it just felt so affirming, and to get such positive feedback. Oh yeah, so, you know, watching all the reviews and all the you know the star ratings and stuff, just reading all the responses, you know, it's great. And we'll, we'll get messages from an eight-year-old in Slovakia just saying, "I really, really love the game. How do you get past level 92?" <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh my God, there are there are little kids in, in in other parts of the planet that are playing this game and just love it." And uh, we're constantly bombarded on our Facebook page, or there's a Catapult King Facebook page. They're just like, uh, you know, more levels, need more levels. So um, there's a real, we, we feel we feel the love, which is uh, fantastic. And in, like further on from that, will there be more levels, or will there be a sequel? Or? Well, we're uh, actually working on the last last couple of uh, uh, patches of uh, levels are on their way right now. We've literally finished them now. We'll probably in the next few weeks have have one more update, and then there'll be the very final update, which will probably probably bring this game to a to a conclusion. And that the, the exciting thing about that is now we're working on a sequel. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for your time. It's great. It's great to hear about this fantastic much, yeah. game. I will as soon as I get home, I'll download it, and I, yeah. I'm taken away by it. I, I love these type of games. They're, they're good to play in spare time, and you yeah. just to. Have better fun as well. Uh, so. they, they get, get out there and keep flinging. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank, thank you very thank much. You much. Cheers. Cheers.